Hello, today we're going to be talking about blocking or muting or chopping and choking or whatever descriptive you want to use for the idea of silencing a string once you've started it ringing. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to call this uh, blocking. By blocking, I mean the ability to play any string at any time, followed by the ability to stop it at any point in musical time whenever you want it to. So that might be something that happens fast. It might be something where string rings and then you stop it. The point of the matter is, this is a crucial skill because as the old saying goes, it's the space between the notes that make the music. So, no matter what kind of player you are, what level player you are, what level player you hope to become, at some point in time you're going to have to address this idea of blocking. And there has been all sorts of systems and methods used to do this. People have done extensive instruction material on this, so I'm not going to be discussing any revolutionary new concepts to anybody. I'm just going to discuss my particular approach to how to accomplish all these things and why I think my approach makes sense. And so before I get into too much in-depth stuff about the mechanics of making all this possible, I'm going to tell you that I call my system the seven-point blocking system. And as we'll go, I'm going to show you what all seven of those points are but I'm going to explain to you that it involves a, a term you may have heard before called palm blocking, where this portion of the palm of your hand down here does a lot of the work to kill off the strings. It Im also involves a technique you might have heard of called pick blocking, where the picks on the three fingers that I use to attack the strings with also are used to kill the string. So the same thing that attacks the string also kills the string. It's also going to involve some stuff with my left hand. Now a lot of times when we're thinking about blocking, people don't even consider their left hand. They don't consider that, you know, they think of this as might be an, an entirely right-handed thing, but our left hand plays an important role in this blocking process also. So before I get into exactly what I do and how I do it, I want to talk a little bit about the history of how all these techniques developed. Back in the early days of the pedal steel in, in the 60s and 70s and all throughout that era, most of the guys who were recording in Nashville that, that we all love to listen to so much on all those great old records, most of those guys were using the palm blocking method. And, and real basically, the idea behind the palm blocking method is that if your palm is sitting down across all the strings and you play across them, you get nothing but muted tone. So everything is dead, right? Well, the idea here is, is if we kept that palm down on the strings, but then brought the picks to engage the strings, and we just lifted our palm just a tiny, tiny fraction, just enough that it barely clears the string, we have the opportunity to play the string and then just let our palm fall right back down on it. And, and this is the way many of the greatest records of all time were recorded on the steel guitar, where pick a note, block it with your palm. I'm alternating there between my thumb and, and uh, middle finger to do that. But that's what's going on. Pick, block with your palm. Now, later in the evolution of the pedal steel, especially in the, about the mid-80s, the, the pick blocking technique became very, very popular, mostly due to the playing of Paul Franklin. And Paul Franklin kind of burst on the recording scene about this time and was really playing some stuff that blew people's minds. You know, phenomenal speed, incredible accuracy, and using a system that, that relied pretty much entirely on the idea of playing a string, and then instead of using your palm to block it, just setting one of your other picks right back down on top of it. Might be the same pick, might be a different pick. The idea is you play it with one, and then stop it with either the same one or another. 
And so in my own personal development as a steel player, this was kind of an interesting time because pick blocking was meeting palm blocking sort of head on and there was like this um, war of, of ideas as to which system worked the best. Now, I started playing in the spring of 1986. I was 15 years old, and all of these things were going on kind of at the same time, and I was very, very interested in knowing which players used what kinds of techniques and what the results of all those things were. So I bought all sorts of instructional material by guys who were teaching the palm blocking technique. Um, I bought Paul Franklin's courses about how to use the pick blocking technique. And then as a result of a whole lot of real world practical experience as a full-time professional sideman, I developed a few of my own ideas regarding this whole blocking thing. And so the system that I use today that I call the seven point blocking system is a culmination of all of those ideas. So real quickly, the seven points go like this. See the equipment our pros use at the best prices anywhere online. Support small business and save.